All the way in the yard, wiener. <sighs> it's a nice day out. The trailer should be right where we left it. Yeah, I see it there already. Hook on and tie it down and get out of here. The trailer should be right where we left it, right here. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, it has not tied itself down over the weekend. That is unfortunate. So now we'll quickly tie it down and get out of here. We've got a long way to go. A long way to go. And I need to get as far as I can tonight. As close to there as I can. We'll be driving through most of the night, I think. It took longer than I had expected to tie that load down. I was there for almost two hours. I was, I was expecting it to be a little bit quicker. But that is what it is. We're still on time. We're just barely on time, so there's no time to waste. When we get there, we're going to drive into the night. I'd say we'd be driving until the sun comes up, but the sun doesn't want to come up until later on in the morning anyway, so it'll still be dark when we stop. But we're definitely going to be pushing into the night tonight. I had to drive late last night, or should I say early into the morning, but we made it. And you know what, every time I take my front tires off, I lose my inner hub cover. <laughs> Happened on both sides. So I'm gonna go unload these now. Oh man, it was a long night yesterday, but we we did it. It was great. Feel good. It's too bad about the inner hubs, those hub covers on my steers. Every time I get my steer tires taken off, or I should, or get uh, someone else to uh, work on the front. I mean, then again, it doesn't always happen. But uh, I find it so hard to get those hub covers to stay in there sometimes they got those little pins that hold them in there for some reason they just they like to vibrate out i'm just waking myself up here i i didn't film anything going last night we i took uh, the shortest route possible which was up yellowhead uh hi highway 16 it's the other highway trans canada 16. it's a two-lane road from manitoba all the way out here but it is it was considerably shorter to get here and since it was the middle of the night there was no traffic the only traffic was a bunch of deer i had a couple of close calls there was a lot of deer out on the road yesterday excuse you a lot of deer out on the road yesterday but uh we didn't hit any of them we had our eyes up we had our head up we had our eyes on the road we had a couple run across the road in front of me i was able to avoid them there was one that came pretty close uh but like i said there's no one else on the highway. I was able to have my high beams on. You can see it from a ways away. It started slowing down. Kind of figured it was going to do something dumb. It started jutting out into the road. And then it ran back into the ditch. And then last second, it ran across the road right in front of me again. And by that time, I was prepared for it to do whatever dumb thing it was planning to do. Because deer don't have a lot of brain. But uh, they got enough brain to run. That's like their, their one instinct. They just usually run in the wrong direction. It's funny how that happens. Like, running is the correct response. When there's a semi coming towards you, running away is, is the correct response. It's just for some reason they always pick the wrong direction and they run into danger instead of away from the danger. So, I mean, they're evolving, right? <laughs> the next step in their evolution is to run in the correct direction. But at least they're running from, from, from the danger. Or towards it. They're running. I really don't like deer. I don't like deer at all. They're always in the way. You know, I'm assuming in Australia, kangaroos would be the same thing, except kangaroos are hopping. And they're like giant bunny rabbits, or they're like deer that went to prison. You know, they're just jacked up deer like that, that have been bred together like in a lab with giant rabbits. They're, they look pretty scary, and they look like little boxers. They could box you, too, and they're just ripped. 
So I think hitting a kangaroo would probably do more damage because they look heavier muscle-wise. They got more muscle mass, but ah, uh, same idea, right? Animals that jump right out in front of you. That's why in Canada here, we call it a moose bumper or a deer bumper. I'd like to get one for, for the front of my truck. Then they just sort of bounce off the truck and they save your truck from having to get an insurance claim and being put out of service. In Australia, you call them rhubars, right? For hitting the kangaroos. I mean, you don't hit them on purpose, but sometimes it kind of seems like they hit you on purpose, right? Like I was saying, the same thing, like same thing with kangaroos. Uh, they're doing the right thing. They're running. They're just going the wrong way. <laughs> so... Thanks for uh, hanging out, everybody. Uh, it was a really short vlog today. I know we started off at home, ran through the night. I can't show you much at night because it's completely dark, completely dark. And, you know, I was just trying to get here. So we got here. We got here safely. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day, for another full day. I'm going to start right here. So thanks for joining me. Remember, when you're out there on the road, keep your head up. There's deer everywhere. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your stick on the ice. Pay attention. And drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow.